And uh, in terms of um, statistics, the, we still having the the die the for for bone bone conditions for broken the the, the ribs the the, yeah. the femur mm -hmm. no is still the second reason yeah, for the 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 dies yeah. in, in olders in, in Brazil just just pneumonia is still the yeah. first so why is the reason is because we are not talking for the right reasons about the bony health yeah. because for during this time we are talking about bony density yeah. and our bone is not strong it's not resistant because it's dense it yeah. is resistant because it's flexible mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, i would like to i am so glad to have samantha here because she is very specialized in, in this ingredient and uh, I would like, Samantha, that you can talk a little bit more about this, the, the quark the difference mm -hmm. and why we can push in this discussion with the medical area to the doctors to try to push in this discussion. Hey, doctors, let's start to talk more about flexibility, not just, not just for density. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can talk a little bit about that. Yeah. I will make a very bold statement mm -hmm. and I stand behind it. I think anybody that is prescribing or recommending calcium specifically for bone health, especially in the aging population, needs to replace that recommendation with COACT. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah. And that's because of the exact the mechanism. You're absolutely right, Flavio. The the bone is made up of obviously it's calcium, magnesium, and the phosphates, but collagen is a very large component of yeah, bone cool. composition. And like you said, that's what contributes to the flexibility. As we age, and all of us are aging, that's inevitable. Mm -hmm. You have bone formation, bone loss, you know, and, and that happens at a rate, you know, until eventually the bone loss starts to outpace the bone formation. Our tendency is to supplement with calcium. But by doing that, you're just making the bones harder and more brittle. Yeah. Coact addresses this issue. Coact is a chelated calcium collagen that mimics the bone structure. So it is driving collagen along with that calcium into the bone matrix. So it's providing the strength and the flexibility. And the clinical data is so compelling. We have 12 month data in postmenopausal women that show improvements in their bone mineral density yeah, over the 12 yeah. months with COACT. And we've even compared it to calcium supplementation alone, yeah. no contest. And we've looked at it in comparison to calcium and collagen just blended. But the key is the- The chelated Exactly, process, yes. exactly as it mimics that structure. Hands down, it should be one of the top supplements in your tool belt if you're dealing with an aging population.